You want to be able to take pictures like this catching rats in your house? Just watch and learn. Okay, so I just got a call from a woman in Santa Clarita who started a construction project at her house, a copper repipe to be exact. And when the construction workers opened up walls in her house to put in the pipes, a bunch of rats started coming out and have infested the kitchen, the living spaces, they're munching on the couches and even starting to chew on the bottoms of the mattresses where the kids sleep at night. Nevertheless, we want to help her out and I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and show you exactly what my two favorite traps are for catching rats inside of a house. Now the name of the game when trapping for rats is to first know exactly what species of rat you're dealing with and second, design a trapping program accordingly. Now I could tell from the videos from the tenant, also from the points of infestation and the feces left behind that I was dealing with specifically roof rats. So I decided I'm gonna use my two favorite traps for roof rats, both made by Victor. Now my favorite general purpose rat trap has got to be the standard basic wooden base Victor rat trap for multiple reasons. First off, it's reliable, especially if you get the kind with the metal trigger. Second, it's also very affordable. And in the world of trapping rats, oftentimes quantity is just as important as quality. Now these kind of traps are great to be placed behind couches or underneath cabinets or in areas where small children and pets can't get to them. Now when placing snacks snap traps in the attic, it's very important that you place these snap traps in the area where the blood and urine trails from the rats are most prevalent. Now usually the majority of rat control situations can be handled with simple snap traps. However, in this case the family had a beloved pet animal, a small dog to be exact. And in areas where family pets can access the traps, I prefer to use a much more pet friendly solution, the electric Victor rat trap. Powered by four C-sized batteries, the electric Victor rat trap can be placed in areas accessible to these pets without worrying about snapping their paws in a trap. Now Socrates said, one must know thine enemy. I say, when it comes to trapping rats, know thine enemy's food supply. In this case, the roof rats were feasting upon extra dog food that was behind one of the cabinets that the landlord didn't know was there. Now let's start with the snap traps. The first thing you want to do is take a small one inch by one inch piece of cardboard and secure it to the metal trigger of the trap so you can place a little bit of peanut butter on there and a little bit of the dog food that they've already gotten used to eating. Now you're gonna to go to the electric trap and do almost exactly the same thing. Now it's time to actually start placing the traps. As I said before, the snap traps are best placed in inaccessible areas, behind the couches where the pets can't reach and the children can't go. They're also really, really good for being put in the attics to catch those alpha males that are making all of the noise in the attic. In this case, I also pulled out the appliances, especially the fridge a small distance, and put the traps behind the fridge where I knew rats were frequenting as well. There's a slight advantage also to putting the traps in groups of three, the reason why will be explained in depth in another video. The electric traps are best placed up against the walls facing areas where we know that the roof rats go also. Now don't sweat it if the traps don't start working immediately. Roof rats are what we call neophobic, meaning they're afraid of new things. This means they're going to actually avoid the traps for a couple of days. But if you're patient and you've placed them and set them correctly, by day two or three, boom shakalaka. That's when the magic starts happening. Look at that guy. Boob shakalaka.